Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with NBC Sports Radio. It's Saturday, August 8th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, it's time to rant and run. Can you believe Alden Smith? The 49ers lose another key player as Fezzik talks about their cutting in line to bet this team with the season win total from 8.5 down to 7. There was an altercation with uh, Kaepernick and now his third DUI. He still had a chance. The 49ers backed him and gave him five chances and he still couldn't get it right. A professional better called me last night and said, who's a bigger screw-up, Alden Smith or Pac-Man Jones? I think it's Alden Smith. Still making $9 million this year. He went into the 49ers and renegotiated the deal, and he comes out with his third DUI and screws up again. What is this suspension going to be? He missed nine games last year. This falls under the personal conduct policy and the substance abuse policy. The guy's just like Justin Blackman. He's going to drink himself out of the league and out of a career. And who knows what's going to happen now with all this free time on his hands if he could wind up like Josh Gordon and get in more trouble. So he's going to be suspended probably a year. And who knows when he's going to come back and if a team will take a chance on him. And another huge blow for the 49ers. is This t- this has got to be the worst team in the division. It's a huge year for Kaepernick and now they lose. I've never seen the team lose so many guys in a two-year span. Early retirement, guys got trading guys, getting cut, guys having problems off the field. Mercy. And Tom Sula, I don't think he's the guy for the job anyways. He could be one and done with the 49ers. And But you see they canceled practice at Levi Stadium because of the grass? What are they doing over there? How can the grass be in such poor condition uh, the last year and a half? Jesus. That's something to watch with the 49ers and Alden Smith. And like I said yesterday on the radio show with Scott Spritzer, I don't have time for this guy. Always oh, got problems. Oh, it's a disease. I heard the same thing with my dad. He died. He was an alcoholic. And he's just sick and tired of the lies, and I'm going to change, and I can do it. As I said yesterday, he went to rehab all emotionally. On the way home from rehab after 30 days, he tells my mother to pull the car over at the liquor store so we can buy a 12-pack. Give me a break. Same thing with Alden Smith. The 49ers heard everything, and they bought into it. I've changed. I'm going to be a better person. Let's redo my deal. They were talking about giving him a long-term deal on Tuesday. And this happened yesterday. How about the Mets? you got to love this. They have the look. I know Bill Simmons tweeted that out. Another huge win. Come from behind in the ninth inning. They win again. The winning streak continues. And they were losing in the ninth. And the Nationals had a four run, a 4-1 to one lead. They blow it. Cargo with a grand slam. Now a two-and-a-half game lead in the East for the Mets. Cubbies win again. Best record at this stage of the season since 2008. So far, so good in that big series against the Giants. Lester gets the win. Yesterday, the Jays go into Yankee Stadium and win. Dickey was solid in that one. So uh, really getting fun here with the baseball season. And a nice job by the Mets uh, yesterday. Time to tell you what I'm betting. Two featured pro picks up at pregame.com. Dave Esler, Uncle Dave. Game of the month goes today. A 14-3 and run with the game of the month. Up 88 units this year. And off another win last night. Confidence, energy level, sky high. Just like Nova, same with Dave Essler. Grab that pick today. Go get him, Uncle Dave, and you see all the numbers there. Get that game of the month today. What are you waiting for? Greg Shaker, again, 11-1, another winner. His total destroyer, three-star Major League Baseball, goes today. Great job to Greg, Steven, and Dave. Is there on a great great runs here? Drop my card. Is there on uh, great runs here with Major League Baseball and a phenomenal month for these guys. You want to grab Greg's pick as well. Time to tell you what I'm betting. Paulie's pick from the pros, not my pick. Handicapping the cappers, we try to make it two in a row and eight of 13 in Major League Baseball. Two pros have landed on this game, but for different reasons. Combine the reasons, it makes it a super strong play. And this is our selection today. Grab this for $20 as we try to make it two in a row. One team playing great baseball. The other team we're going against can't wait for the season to end, playing out the string. Uh, we have a huge edge on the mound, a huge edge with the bullpen, and a better team, and it's not even close. Add it up, that's a selection today. I think the line's kind of low as well. That is Paulie's pick from the pros, uncovering that hidden gem and bringing it to you every day. Grab that for $20, handicapping the cappers. And the free pick, football. Uh, J.R. O'Donnell, week one, NFL, Chargers at home, lane two against Detroit. He's concerned about that Detroit defense with the loss of Sue. You know, you can't back Matthew Stafford anyways, especially on the road against a good team. Come on. So that's a free pick 
Click on that for the full analysis and the write-up and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll see you tomorrow on pregame.com.